Hey chat! How's it going? Alright. Don't mind me getting all my stuff put together. I hope everyone's having a nice day! We're gonna play some Monster Hunter. And if you guys haven't already seen, we had a big announcement. Uh, the Game Awards last night, Monster Hunter Wilds. I'm so ready for it. You guys have no idea. Alright, Twitter. Are you gonna listen to me? I don't think Twitter's listening. Shaking my head, shaking my head. Not a surprise. Alright, let me get Twitter set up. One second. <laughs> Checking in with the kitties. Uh, are, are you there, Okami? I am here. Hello. Ah, oh, so we're going to have, you know, we're, we're going to continue our Iceborne playthrough. But I think before we do, we do have to talk about the, the drop with the game awards here. Yes. Huge drop. <laughs> with, uh, with, yeah, with Monster Hunter Wilds, which does seem to be Monster Hunter World 2. Mm hmm. Uh, lots of interesting stuff. We had a, it looked like a free roaming uh, ride, riding creature. I don't know if it's going to be. Um, we don't really know if it's going to be full free roaming, but it really looked like full free roaming. Yes. We don't know if there are going to be other types or if. I think it'll be Caught similar children. to like a, a Palamute lizard thing. Maybe we'll get Palamutes as well. We don't know. I mean, anything is possible. It looked like it was saddled and whatnot. So I have to assume there's some going to be some sort of like pet mechanic to it. We'll have to see on that. Um, Okami linked a, a image that somebody had of a, a zoom in from the, the video, which showed the slinger and the scout fly thing. So that's more confirmation that we're getting a world style game. I'll show you guys that. Let me pull it up on Twitter. I'll put it on screen for everyone to see. I am so, so excited for this. Uh, what are some other things? So uh, I again, I don't know if it's cinematic or it's a gameplay reflection, but the 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 stampede uh, when the number of uh, non non monster sized creatures uh, shown there, all those little uh, pangolin looking things uh, fleeing from what almost looked like a pack of the uh, the kind of Azuros looking uh, monsters, like three of them tearing through the uh, the stampede. We could additionally see kind of. Uh, like like herd leaders or something like that. I don't know if that was meant to be, you know, like the the you know, the the male lion kind of thing of the little pangolins or something else. But they were uh, they were the same creature, but they had big long spines on their back. Mm -hmm. And when the lightning storm started, the lightning struck those spines and made them glow. We have to have a monster that has a mechanic like that. Uh. Can we have less monsters with lightning bolt mechanics? I'd be fine with less <laughs> no, monsters no, 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 no. with lightning bolt mechanics. <laughs> it's like an Aptonoth, but merged with Kirin. That's what we need. <laughs> I think you just gave me nightmares. <laughs> uh, we had that. We had the, the 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 weather state. So once the the dust storm had kind of rolled over. We have somebody on TikTok asking about our opinions on blue cheese. I don't know if this is a meme. Can either of you uh, speak to that? Uh, I don't know if it's a meme, but I do like blue cheese. Yeah. I'm not a fan of most cheeses. It's pretty much Colby Jack or nothing for me. That's fair. So everyone's going to be playing Monster Hunter, right? So when we start streaming it in 2025... We're going to have a whole guild. <laughs> <laughs> One Should of the things I, I noticed that I really thought was quite cool is that uh, and maybe this is just like a flourish that they had for the trailer. But at the very end, when they're like walking up and to look over the cliffside, 
and you look down, it looks like the area is terraforming as you're looking at it. Yes! Like there's glass growing out of the ground. I want to know what that like was. The, the storm, the storm ends, and like the the there's a blast of dust over it that leaves the the grass there. Yeah, it's very weird. Maybe uh, that's how they do. It does do, look uh, like more dynamic environments. I was gonna say that's probably how they do something of the sort because obviously we have monsters from different biomes, uh, so there has to be a way that they're able to work it into this world. I'm gonna say though, in my opinion. My theory is that we are coming back to the new world. A part of the new world. I don't know where, but we're coming back to the new world. Uh, it would make it sense would because be the, interesting. the new world is supposed to be a very, like, untamed land compared to the rest of the game. Yep. Should be good. Should be good. Uh, I mean, that's about all we have. They, they have brought a site for the game up but uh, it pretty much just has the trailer video on it at this point I'm so excited though I need it now uh, alright we're just gonna have to subsist off of this and EDF until then <laughs> yes. yeah that's true we also, got, we also got word that EDF 6 is dropping in the the spring of next year which Very is close. less less vague than um sometime in the future uh but spring of next year is still a pretty fuzzy range uh, but should be good should be good has got to be somewhere around here let's get searching for clues oh we gotta look for Valkana and that's how we're gonna find Legiana I bet Valkana transformed you are so let's... correct Let's kick off those expeditions and see what we can find on that front. I think, you know what, I'm quite happy for Baldur's Gate. I think that being the company that they are, how long they worked on the project, um, and how good the game really is, they absolutely deserve that W. I think they got a lot of rewards that are appropriate. Uh, I think also the game awards are a... It's kind of confirmation bias, the TV show. Mm, I'm yeah. sorry, recency bias. I mean, recency bias. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's recency bias. The fact that, that, like, Alan Wake 2 is winning a bunch of them, and Alan Wake 2 has been out for, like, two weeks What's that? is problematic, because it really falls into the realm of, you know, is it that people thought that Alan Wake 2 was a great game, or is it that it's just the most recent game they've played, and therefore it's the one that's got like the most vivid in their mind of the best game um and i'm sure that there's a lot of cool things about alan wake too but i don't think there was that many cool things i mean see my my issue with uh newer games coming out at the end of the year and them being competitors is that they really haven't had much time you know they could be fantastic games but is it fair to put them up against competitors that came out earlier in the year i don't know yeah, I mean, that's, like, you know, if... if So, Alan Wake 2 is supposed to be a horror game. It didn't... Like, it, it was in things that weren't related to horror for some reason. But, uh, supposedly, it's a, a survival horror game. Um, there were better, there were other survival horror games that came out this year that might be better than them. They might not. But we don't know, because, you know, only a tenth of the portion of the people that are going to play it have been able to play it. Mm, that, yep, exactly. I agree with that. One of the things we were talking about as well is the uh, uh, like indie titles and similar have a very narrow window unless they absolutely take off uh, to be noticed. Yep. So if like there's a shiny new AAA level title that shows up right near the end of the year, those indies are out of the running. Sea of Stars won, won this year that I thought was very well earned, too. Sea yeah. of Stars is really good. Ow! Sorry, I almost so missed a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry! <laughs> One of these days, I'll get back to the Sea of Stars playthrough. Oh, yeah, that got an award, didn't it? It did. There's yeah. Here. It is a very good I game. Very cute. Yeah. I immediately thought of you. I've never played the game, but I saw your streams. It's very well executed. Human footprints. And on the he hasn't even gotten to the good parts yet. He's just be been hurt. fiddling around with the like first 
third of the game. They're headed in the same direction as And I'm going to call it fiddling because it's You're fiddling. Like... You're fiddling, Newt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Ugh, Legiana. Gross. Duffel penguins. I do love being a longsword main, yeah. I trip up all of my allies. All the time. I knew there was a thing I was supposed to farm this weekend. <laughs> Xeno Diva. <laughs> uh, where is it? May or may not be the reason that I have a footing gem in. <laughs> <laughs> Need to go kill Xeno Diva, guys. I'm fine with that. Let's get some more gems, Newt. Yeah. If anybody has it active, let me know. I don't I don't think mine is active, so I can't do it as a special event, I agree. I'll take a look as soon as I'm back. I'm surprised that they haven't kicked in the winter event yet. Like we've had the Halloween and Thanksgiving one going on loop for you know a couple months now. Hmm, that's true. I didn't think of that, funnily enough. <laughs> Actually, oh no no no! I don't have enough. I don't have have enough monster rank or hunter rank. How do I have? I have a nine. Should be able to do it. Whatever. Depends on which mission you're looking at. Like I've got I've got like hunter rank. Like hunter rank takes a lot to up the even the um, low rank or the low and high rank ones too that you can do. Well, I have Hunter Rank 9, and that's supposedly what the Hunter Rank is required to do the Like a Moth of the Flame, which is the tempered version of Xenogiva. But it won't let me pick it. I don't want to fight you! Nope. That. Let me check mine. I hope we don't get another handler. <laughs> Imagine she comes back. I mean, I wouldn't mind another handler if they actually explored what the handler is really doing. Because yeah. her primary role is to be a quest board and to be a... A reason for us uh, to get knocked out. On the quest. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. She, she is a problem on quests. Oh, wait, is it? Hold on, I'm silly. Is it high rank, right? Yeah, it's high rank. Uh, yeah, the Xeno Jiva one should be high rank. Okay. Uh, any events? I, ha I have the normal event. I just don't have the tempered event. Oh, I think normal uh, should be fine, right? It's not the special event, though. The special event is the one that gives you, like, the higher chance of rewards and stuff. Oh, okay. And also higher chance of carding. That's also true. <laughs> but we're not gonna cart, because we're talented players now. Oh. We know what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. First try, no carts. <laughs> yeah. I also, I didn't know this, um, because chat just brought it up. So there were two games that really surprised me the most at the Game Awards, and that would be Cyberpunk and, um, what is that one space one? No Man's Sky. Mm -hmm. Um, I was under the impression for all these years, maybe I'm over-exaggerating, but I thought they got really bad reviews, and I was very shocked to see them up on the list. Cyberpunk uh, recently got a fix that made the game playable and probably even good. Yeah, yeah. I don't. It's it's. They did it's, an over. Playable. They did an overhaul in the base game and released an expansion. Well, good uh, for that them. That was one of the things that was really annoying about is that they're like, oh, labor of love. It's no, they corrected their mistake because they did everything wrong. Yeah. Before the release of Cyberpunk. And like, it was best ongoing game, too, which is like, it's not an ongoing game. They've literally said they're done making content for the game. That, like, the the, uh, the the Liberty expansion is their last bit of content for Cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. They're moving on to something else. Um, which is super frustrating. But 
uh, like the the No Man's Sky one is definitely that's the case. Like it started off yeah. terrible. People hated it. It was a single play. Like they promised it was going to be like a big multiplayer adventure where you and your friends could go out and explore the universe and every world was going to be unique with unique animals and all that kind of stuff. And it released as like a single player, very shitty, tiny little game with almost none of those features. Um, and it's kind of sad because the guy who developed it very clearly really wanted to make that game and had a vision for him where he wanted to go with it, like the producer that was pitching it to Sony and stuff. And Sony basically told him, like, we don't care what you have, put it out now. Aww. And um, so they put out a very unfinished product, and he's like, I'm sorry, we're going to fix it, we're going to make it right. And uh, like two years after it was released, it finally kind of recovered from that and got to where they promised it was going to be. And in the time since then, it has gone way past what they promised. It is. Oh, yeah. It that is. game plus two. The, I mean, the good amount for them. of stuff that's new in that is amazing. Yep. It's very hard for me to play because it's. I, I Even though I love space games, it is very much a survival game first, and I'm not a huge fan of that, but. It is yeah. definitely way more than it originally was. And that's... The, the fact that Cyberpunk got that was just... The other games were robbed. I didn't even... <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I didn't even know they were... I guess, <laughs> lack of a better term, playable? Because I heard such bad things, and I was completely what? shocked to see them. I mean, you wouldn't you would you would not have been misled in terms of like Cyberpunk when it very first came out because that I game think, was, wasn't that broken. It, it was. There, uh, there they, were a lot of things were broken. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they promised that it was going to be backwards compatible with PS3 and Xbox One, uh, PS4 and Xbox One, and uh, it was not. It was absolutely not. People were talking about the time it would take for things to happen. Right. And when it started. Uh, the time it would take for the like the game to load and for models to load in and stuff, and somebody was like, "Yeah, it could take like three and a half minutes for a model to load its actual skin." Oh my god! Just, like, walking around looking like a potato on screen for a minute and a half. Vehicle AI was terrible. You'd have cars doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Yep. Uh, what what was it? Once somebody left their game running for a half an hour, and at the end of the half hour, the um, all of the vehicles in the entire city had pooled at the center of the city. And you could see them all because you could clip through the floor and just look at the traffic off of the distance. Uh, it's one of those games that has like a nudity toggle. And huh. some people would not turn it on, they just keep their character clothed. Well, I recall there being a streamer or something that's playing and suddenly their character pops out of the hood of the car stark naked and T-posing, like, waving in the breeze. Oh my oh, no. god. <laughs> they had the nudity filter on, but it still showed it anyway. <laughs> Even worse. Yep. Okay, look, Xenojiva, stop it. Oh, I changed all my callouts, by the way. I had fun. Why is my... Wait, what? My... Uh... Uh... So I'm not going to say my buttons aren't entirely working, but my buttons might not be entirely working. I can only upper <laughs> slash right now. Why? Why? What? I can't A attack! What is going on? What if I unplug my controller and plug it back in? Give it a shot. Had problems. I'm scared to do that. What? <laughs> well, says the guy who plays the weapon and basically has two buttons, sheath and unsheath. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there are, harder. there are combos. Yes, they involve <laughs> holding the she the unsheath button. <laughs> I mean, I can kind of do it without that combo. I just can't do my, my backhand slash, I guess. I'll fix it after. I can't imagine losing buttons on just about any other weapon. It's my B button, too, of all things. It's kind of important. I can't really dash, I guess. Or, like, avoid. You saying that for once the prophecy may not be fulfilled? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh wait, no, that's my A button to dodge. I'm silly. Listen, uh, muscle memory is a funny thing. Oh, okay, so the prophecy is guaranteed, I see. Uh, yeah, I just can't do my stabby attack and some other combos, but it's okay, it's okay. We're vibing. I'm just playing the game on hard mode today. Uh, it's a, it's a unique challenge to me only. Ah. Head moves only challenge. 
<laughs> yes, chat, there's always scuff of some sort. Listen, I didn't expect one button on my controller to not work, but here we are. This is a new controller. If the button's starting to get worn out, I don't know. I will cry. <laughs> it's so funny. This would happen to me. Beam. Sir, I understand your laser beams are important to you, but I'm going to have to ask you to stop. Oh, that's right. I have this now. Uh, there it is. I can do a helm splitter still. <laughs> oh no, wait, what? Okay, maybe I messed something up in my settings, because I can pick up items, which is the same button, but I can't stab. Seems like a problem. Yep, yeah, that does yeah. seem like a problem. <laughs> I was like, oh no, wait a minute, am I going to be able to carve? Oh no. Baby. Laser baby. No, don't hit me. Ah, I went. Oh my goodness, I forgot I had the mantle on. <laughs> If you guys want to get that mantle, by the way, I would definitely help you guys because it's a pain in the butt to get. Rude. So, ouch. <laughs> Hope I missed. Nope. Uh, phase two, maybe? Yes. Yep. How do I look at my hotkeys? Can I fix that now? <laughs> uh, uh, controls? Hmm. I mean, if you have a little smoke bomb, you could use it to get out. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know how that didn't hit me. Nice. Oh 
my goodness. <laughs> Get him. I mean, one of the things you got to appreciate with your new graphics card is the glow effects on this fight, huh? Oh, yeah. Literally everything. Ate that for you. Strategic. Oh, he's so big. How is he dodging? Ah, oh, oh, got the tail. Uh, I was going for the tail at the same time you were, so it was very weird when it just flew off as my blade was, like, <laughs> on its way to it. Look at this. Dominance power of go. Thank you, giant rock. I usually don't use the counter mechanic in World. I use it a lot more in Rise. Me too. Well, that's because in Rise it also does a lot more for you. Yeah, it, it's definitely... I don't know. I don't really use Home Splitter that much in Rise compared to World. World, it's like my, yep. my crucial kit. Well, my understanding is that... Uh... They, they shuffled things a lot for it in Rise, but, you know, Helm Splitter was your premier move in World. Yeah. In Rise, you also have a variation on the counter move that is stronger if you have the resource that you get from countering, so... Uh, there's, Sorry, like, Daz. not a lot of incentive to... Oh, by the way, I saw that short. Oh! <laughs> I know with you. I don't know what you're talking about. For those that are curious, uh, in one of our early fights in uh, Iceborne, I was falsely accused of leaving <laughs> Tass to die while he was stunned. Okay, look, don't get too high in my... <laughs> I know you would have done it if you had the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> That's beside the point. <laughs> it was so funny. Especially seeing the little, like, replay. So good. 
It was well edited, is what it was. Yeah. <laughs> I think it says something when my uh, I put the most editing effort into spite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what monster was that? Was that Tigrex? Uh, that was Banbaro, I think. No, yeah, it was that? Uh? Yep. Yep. He did his big horn slam on me. Listen, so many funny things happen against all the monsters we go against. It's hard to keep track. <laughs> hey, Crook, how's it going? Just playing some Monster Hunter. I'm guessing you saw the announcement last night. Sorry, folks, in my chat as well. I had lost that window somehow, so... <laughs> Sonic Niji. Hardwire <laughs> Leaf Bubbles. Hi, everybody! Hello! Everyone on both sides. Oh, I keep missing. Laser Baby is angry. Very mad. Laser baby is extra angry. <laughs> and yeah, barbed wire. Cyberpunk ultimately redeemed itself. It's just that it's kind of uh, disingenuous to call it, you know, best ongoing game or similar when they just got their uh, they got their act together recently. Mm hmm. I was going to say, too, I'm very excited for the new Hoyoverse game. Um, that, that, oh, I don't, uh, what's that one called? Something, something, something zero, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, something zone zero. Yeah, yeah. Zenless, Zenless zone zero. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that looks really good. I think Cal even said he wanted to give that a try. Oh, wait, are you mounted? No, I, oh. I was shooting uh, spring bongs at it. Throw, throw, throwing bing bongs at it. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Oh, that's your pretty face. Listen, we're breaking all the parts. If you don't get a gem. Rampled. According to Okami, I'm the best for heals. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally playing this so much the other night for hours on end, and I was like, I have to do something to my shoutouts. They bother me. They're too, they're too normie. Rolly, rolly, rolly. Ow. I hope we see a spike of more Monster Hunter World players. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was that. Uh, oh, there's a weird camera twitch. Uh, I'm not sure what it was that uh, kicked it off, but we had been seeing more of that. When I was uh, doing quests the other night, I saw quite a few people uh, online. So hello, wall. Nice. Screen handles, man. <laughs> Don't forget the tail. Oh no, Newton I dominance carved that thing. <laughs> oh, did you? I did not. <laughs> yeah, we know you're scary. We we, we know you're angry, Xenogia, but we don't care. I heard that, Newt. I fucking heard it. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, wait, wait! I haven't, I haven't gotten to carve yet. Oh, 
Oh, who was that? There was two again. of them, really? Wait a minute. I'm cooking. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, one more? No, oh, two more? What? Okay. For those joining us, we are trying to get Tass a Xenojiva jewel. I think he has gotten a grand total of zero. <laughs> I think that was my fifth or sixth one. <sighs> Rewards? Question mark? I mean, I'll take high commendations. Those are good. Did you get one? I did not get one. Reiki limbs. Uh, I'm gonna actually go to Astera and try to figure out why my sword isn't working. <laughs> All right, let's put some stuff in here. Oh, I don't need to. I'm silly. Okay. Oh, you know, you would just spawned for me in the actual quest. I did something to my hotkeys, but I honestly don't know how to fix that. <laughs> so uh it's not a it's not a controller issue because I can do other stuff in the game with that button. I've just messed something up somehow. Maybe it's like double bound to something that can conflicts with it. Yeah, I, that's so strange though. Uh it's a monster hunter food here. I don't even know how to how to edit the settings. Um Oh wait, did I did I get it to work? Wait a minute. Oh it's not working wait, what I got it to kind of go. How did I do that? Huh. You guys know how to fix your hotkeys? <laughs> Um, so for you, it should be options and then the little gamepad thing. Um, as far as. Interesting. Ah, uh, because I, I definitely, I don't think I messed with any of my stuff. That's cute. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is that gamepad configuration makes uh, mouse and keyboard configuration a pain in the butt. There's so many of the hotkey combinations that are combined with each other because of how it works on the gamepad. Like, this has to be a two-button two press because the gamepad uses two buttons at once. So not only does it have to be two buttons, it's these two buttons, which share moves, you know? Well, it's kind of triggering, but it's triggering <laughs> when I'm pressing... Doing it when I press my menu, which it's... That's so odd. Hold on. I'm going to open Task Manager and just make sure... Or my controls and make sure that... If it's not my controller, I'll reopen the game really fast. It shouldn't be my controller, though. All right, let's see. You silly little controller. Shaking my head. SMH. 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 I 
Emperor and Sky still snuggled up. Hey there, Zenitsu. All right, so I'm my controller. So Welcome. We're going to do this. Let's Joining us for Monster Hunter Night. All right. Monster Hunter Night being uh, increasingly important because of last night's announcement. Also, hello, Dylan on YouTube. Welcome, welcome. Don't mind the Windows noises, chat. They're good Windows noises. Not anything <laughs> bad. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sorry about last night, Zen. The, uh, that was painful. Oh, uh, Bubbles, they announced the next Monster Hunter game, Monster Hunter Wilds, coming out in 2025. I fixed it. Much hype. Much hype. I just had to replug in my controller. It was a bug. Well, with that, that that's that's all the scuff. Okami's got us covered. Everything's going to be fine. From here on. <laughs> scuff is usually my own. We've reached peak scuff. All the scuff. Now it needs to stop there. That's that's as far as it can go. Uh, we tried to play Paranormal PI last night, uh, Barbed Wire, and uh, I was very disappointed that the the game's like quality had kind of fallen off. Um, we got all the fun stuff out of the way and it turned into a uh, random event luck simulator, you know, in 2000. And yeah, there didn't really seem to be a way to trigger the thing you needed to happen for you to be able to figure out more about the ghost. And so you um, just kind of had to stand in the room with your camera pointed at a wall, hoping that eventually he would do a thing. Uh, Zen, I don't watch the Demon Slayer anime. Not that I, you know, would not watch it. I just haven't. Um, so if you want to talk about it, feel free. Just keep in mind that, uh, you know, there there are other people that might not want. So if there are recent spoilers, you might want to avoid that. You're just the awesomest. But yeah, Paranormal PI was a lot of fun, but with it turning into just like flailing around trying to catch events to fill the meters up, that lost its luster. So I'm trying to figure out what to fill that day with. It's either going to be something like Sea of Stars, or maybe we'll double up on the uh, the nostalgia games so that we'll have uh, World and EDF 5. We'll see. I do recall that Demon Slayer had an interesting uh, style, even in the anime. Uh, real, like, thick black line sort of style. Laser baby. Interesting. That one let me actually skip it. I wonder if there's a way to do it. Escape and then X for keyboard, so oh. might be like menu and then something else for gamepad. When I'm doing when I'm doing gamepad, yeah, normally it's just pressing the menu button will open up the thing and you have to press it again to skip. But the first time we, were, we did the interview, but it didn't give any option. Oh, well, now I can actually properly fight. Break out your DPS meters, boys. Let's figure out how good she is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bubbles. Have a good nap. Oh, a nap would be so nice right now. Even though it's like... Almost 12 a.m. for me. I actually can't read my clock on my computer right now, fun fact. Because, uh, since we got everything started up on this one... Um, we set it to UK time, but I forgot they do a 24-hour clock, and I am just not intelligent enough to follow it. I try to set everything I've got to a 24-hour clock. It saves me so much time. <laughs> I can't do uh, it. <laughs> largely because, like, you know, I'm... I, 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 you know, I live in the bunker, so daylight's not an option for determining things like time. Really? Really, Okami? I'm, I'm sorry! Ah! <laughs> like, 
He has turned around and is facing the other direction. You can stop slapping me now. No. All the slaps. Okay, it's almost 11 p.m. Sorry, chat. My bad. This is what I mean. I told you I can't read. Okay, reading and telling the time are two different things. No, 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 no. Listen, 24-hour clock is just so difficult. It's just, I also can't understand when people say half past. Even though, okay, so half past isn't a good example because I know what that one is, but like, you know, when they're like quarter two or whatever, no, that confuses me. Just say like, 9.15. I mean, that I can see. Yeah, some of those are a little esoteric and meaningless. How about we just say it's daytime and nighttime? <laughs> rolly, rolly, rolly. Chat's making fun of me now. Wee. I'm never talking about time ever again. <laughs> A good call. <laughs> That's right, Dylan. We're we're killing the laser baby. I don't talk. Definitely gonna get a gem this time. Mm-hmm. Would you please stop that? <laughs> Be just angry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. spin. <laughs> I will endlessly use these slinger bombs on you if I must. Despite the whole, like, you know, greatsword having the one combo thing is generally accurate, in this fight, you really need to use the other moves. Because he does not want to hold still for any period of time. What a clumsy little baby. If you're not familiar with Xenojiva, a uh, big mutant dragon that you fight towards the end of the base Monster Hunter world, uh, he hatches from the egg that's up on the wall there, Oak Tail. Ow. Uh, it's, and he hatches just before we start killing him. Like, he is a newborn baby. I mean, at this point, it's a mercy, because if he were to continue to live in this world, he would be hunted forever by monsters like us. <laughs> so we're just getting it over with as fast as we can and spare him the pain. Okay. Can I ask a question about time for you both? What's that? Okay, so when someone says quarter past... What time uh -huh. would you assume that is? Like, what what are the minutes? 15 minutes after 15. whatever the hour is. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't want to talk about this any further. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you ask No, me no, 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 no. Sorry, chat just reminded me. Cal reminded me, and now I just really don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> she was hoping for confirmation uh, of her difficulties. Uh, I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> oh god I kind of like desynchronized says, what are you talking about that's easy <laughs> if someone says oh dark 30 to you what does that mean wait what is it oh dark 30 I've never heard that in my entire life until now okay good okay. mostly a military thing okay oh my god I was so afraid I that I was supposed only, to know uh, that 
I think I've only heard something like that from Venture Brothers. Yeah, it's, it's probably <laughs> a thing that Samson would say. Ah, uh, no, it's uh, Henchman Zero of the Monarch. His, his one competent henchman. Oh, okay, yeah, that. I think school failed me. I'm, like, starting to realize it now. It's not a school thing. It's not a real thing. It's, it's no. like, you're not going to be able to find it in a book somewhere that says what it is. Okay, I was just so... wondering if the weird esoteric one would be the one that you actually, like, understood and got, you know what I mean? No, uh, no. Like, okay, so... <sighs> I have to own it now, because you guys are probably, like, wondering. So, quarter past right? Uh, I guess I was wrong my whole life because I thought I knew that one, and then Cal told me I was wrong and I was confused. Um, I thought quarter pass was like 25 pass because quarter is 25 cents. <laughs> yeah, there's logic to it, at least. Yeah, there's yeah. logic to it. Oh, you guys are so nice. <laughs> uh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I mean, the fact that our time scale is base 60 is not helping anybody. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, I'll never forget it now, at least. I mean, we won't let you, that's for sure. <laughs> no. I mean, you say that, but I will never, ever, ever in my entire life remember how many days there are in each month of the year. Each month? Isn't it different? It is, yep. but I will never remember which ones have which. Oh, I don't either. I think, is it next year or leap year? Cal told me it might be a, a leap year. setting aside that nonsense. <laughs> I don't understand any of that. Uh, what's really stupid is that if we just had 13 months in a year, every month could have 30 days, and that would be it. Oh, well that would be smart. I think it's I think it's every month could have a certain number of days. I don't think it's thirty, but it's like twenty-eight days or something like that. I think that'd be easier to remember. Wouldn't it? It's kinda like daylight savings time. Or pennies. Because we had them a long time ago, now we can't get rid of the stupid things. I mean Technically, we still print them, so we're not going to get rid of them until we stop doing that. Okay. Remnants thereof. Ale. Yeah, you can thrash your head around above my head all you like, that's fine. Did you guys carve the tail yet? I did. Yep. Oh, well, I'm behind. I think how my character is staggering, but, you know, the gigantic sword being held in one hand is not contributing to the stagger. <laughs> the wrist strength of the hunters. was a little bit rude. Can I stand up now? There we go. On the money mantle. Oh no! There was a Xenojiva oh, no. part on the ground. I went to pick it up. I missed it. I turned back around and it despawned. Same. <laughs> oh, there's one over here, though, by its tail. Hello, Dan. Welcome in. Oop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Drive by swap.
And Dragon Girl, hello guys. How's it going? I wonder if Mantles will make a return in the new one. I wouldn't be too bothered if they didn't. I yeah, I mean I like the little the little healing pod you can put down, but I don't like the mantles. Yeah. Like, I don't mind the idea of some of the mantles as far as like environmental stuff. Um but Yeah, like like I wish you could like the one you picked is just like determines how you navigate the stage or something, and they each yeah. navigate a little differently. Mm -hmm. Nice. That call out is a little bit disturbing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I didn't know what else to put! I almost said green juice, but it's not really a liquid, it's a gas. It's a little fart cloud. I mean, to be fair, all gas is just aerosolized liquid, so. He's mad. I know there's gonna be some sort of like physicist or something out there that's like, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Someone watching Monster Hunter streams right now. There's, there's no, there's plenty of gases that aren't liquids. Isn't okay. I actually don't know. Uh, what is it called? Uh. I have to think of what I'm trying to remember. <sighs> Dry ice. Is that a solid or is that like... Uh, it's a Isn't solid, it a that, solid has that sublimates at room temperature. Oh, yeah, okay. it's a solid that has such a low evaporation point that as soon as it goes from not being a solid anymore, it immediately turns into a gas. Okay. Ooh. Explosions. What? OBS. OBS just randomly disconnected. That's a problem. No, it's fine. It reconnected on its own. I just got a Windows noise and that scared me. I didn't expect a Windows noise. <laughs> It's okay. I will take all the scuff. It is mine to own. This face. There we go. Nice. The moment of truth. hear any that time. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah, Zeno dead. Yeah, Zeno's a really cool monster, Cal. He's uh he's very colorful. 
definitely more it's colorful into than a the special ice contrast form. when he dies and he goes like this like matte gray almost yeah, yeah. it kind of almost blends in with the ground Did you get one? No, oh, oh. no. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of hell do I live in? We're killing him fast, at least. It's true. Check my safari here. All right, chat, let's go watch some kitty cats cook for us and eat some delicious food. Apparently I unlocked a lot more room decor. of my uh my my tail raider teams is satan's air force oh my god <laughs> what i named my cat satan <laughs> i mean the primary goal of that being i get to say thank you satan whenever he saves me ah uh, and i mean it's a really good team they're only missing three hunting one gathering and five research like high stat team right i satan doesn't mess around man uh, I still love how uh, Team Four Star leaned into that so hard. The, uh, if I recall, that's actually what he is in the Japanese version is Mr. Satan. Yep. <laughs> um, Mr. Satan. He, yeah, he is a, uh, Kind of a pro wrestler kind of public figure, like larger than life kind of dude uh, in in the setting of Dragon Ball. So, you know, he's he's not being put in proximity of the, the of the superhumans until later. Uh, but he's way more popular than them because everybody recognizes him as the world martial arts winner since all of the superhumans have stopped doing that. Uh, it, I, I think it's even more. It's even more than that. It's that in one of the final, he won one because the two superhumans got to do a fight, and one of them was exhausted and he passed out before he even had to fight Hercule. This is Satan. <laughs> they passed out, and because of that, that everybody just thought that he didn't even have to raise a finger. He just defeated this superhuman without even trying. And I know at the end of Cell Saga, they. Uh... They have the really terrible little movie that they make mm -hmm. with big old bobblehead costumes and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Big old bobblehead costumes, and Mr. Satan is the one that destroys them all. Uh, and then in in the Boo saga, uh, he is Majin Boo's best friend for a good chunk of this of the episodes because Majin Boo likes him. He finds him funny, uh, and so he just. Like, he's desperately trying to keep Majin Buu from destroying everyone around him by, like, placating him with fresh food and just being very nice to him all the time. It's very, very goofy. Uh, um, his daughter, though, ends up uh, marrying um, Gohan, who is, like, you know, Goku's son. And uh, that's a weird relationship. Uh, but the reason I bring him up uh, in context of Tass's palico name, Satan, is that he is, uh, you know, he is Satan in the Japanese version. And so the Team Four Star folks, the folks that did the Dragon Ball parody series, Dragon Ball Abridged, uh, whenever the the uh, Mr. Satan does something like really impressive, all of his fans start saying, Hail Satan, Hail <laughs> Satan. 
And then there's the character that shows up literally like one arc after him that literally looks like Satan. <laughs> then it gets weird for a bit. You're like, uh, why? Uh, I get confused when you say Mr. Satan. Yeah, they renamed him to Hercule for the English version because they realized yeah. that in, you know, to a largely Christian audience, that's going to be weird. <laughs> I mean, if they're going to keep one of the elements of the, uh, uh, the four kids era, that's the least excruciating thing to keep. Con Wait. Conceptually. It's time to not, let me skip. Not from the four kids era. That was weird. Hello, Darth. Welcome For those in. of you that are uh, too young to remember, the <laughs> Four Kids era of animation was a period in the uh, U.S. importation of anime series like One Piece and similar, a lot of uh, Funimation animation, where a company called Four Kids brought things over but thought, these children cartoon, children's cartoons are way too dirty and violent, so we're going we're gonna to fix them. Uh, so in One Piece, there is no alcohol or firearms. Sanji also doesn't uh, have a cigarette. Yeah. Uh, he, yes, it's he a has a soccer. Yep. Um, all of the guns are replaced with things like super soakers and like Looney Tunes spring hammers. Um, there is literally a scene where a person is holding a gun to somebody's head. And it's one of those little like... Like, like, like accordion spring loaded like boxing glove things, but with a hammer at the end. Every other time, it's super soakers. Um, all like all the characters that talk about alcohol talk are it's replaced with juice. Uh, some instances of people getting struck, they just kind of cut that moment of the scene out. There's just a lot of very strange jump cuts in the middle of fight. Um. Was enough. So Dragon Ball has some classic ones, and one of them I don't know if you've heard the meme before, but it's frothy mugs of water. No. Uh, so there are there are lots of drinking scenes. There are adult characters who have beer. I, I mean, the original Dragon Ball had a nude scene in it. So I mean, you know, they oh, weren't really yes. afraid to. Uh, conveniently placed tiny trees is that one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but Frothy Mugs of Water, they have a bunch of characters drinking beer. They have classic, like, beer mugs with, you know, a big head on them. And what they did to censor that was very cr crudely place blue over the top of it. And yes, we are talking about the uh, four kids version of One Piece and Dragon Ball, gamer. Uh, and so it looked like in the mug, it was blue liquid, but it still had the head on it. It was still a beer mug. Ew. So it was a frothy mug of water. Gross. There were a lot of weird things in that era, and some of that mentality stayed for quite a while. That we have to, you know, protect the children. Uh, brought to you by Ronald Reagan's wife. I don't know why that reminded me of the show. Do you guys remember Code Lyoko at all? I do. I, do. I loved that show. Uh, I was It was a little bit before my time. Uh, or, or after my time, rather. I, I was a little bit before it. Uh, my big thing was Power Rangers when I was a kid. <gasps> Wait, hold on. I was just talking about Power Rangers literally the other day. My favorite one is Dino Thunder. I love Power Rangers. I'm sorry. No, no. You don't understand. My big thing when Power I was a Rangers. kid was Power Rangers. <laughs> the original Power Rangers. No, 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 no. That doesn't exist. It's only Dino Thunder. I'm well aware that that, serial, that that series got serialized for another, like, 30 years after I watched it, but I'm not going to admit to or acknowledge that. <laughs> Valid? <laughs> uh, but it's also another one of those, uh, you kids and your, uh, and, and your kind of, uh, feelings with a lot of these things. <laughs> I mean... Not gonna lie, I very, I was very close to being born at the stage where 
uh, I could have still been a He-Man lover. <gasps> I love He-Man! A distressing way of putting that, but you know what I mean. He-Man is great. I was vibing to him yesterday, actually. I'm just gonna, just gonna throw out a, uh, a, a, a bit of an F you there, Tess. <laughs> what? What? You're making me feel old, Tass. I'm sorry! <laughs> Would it make you feel better if I said I watched the Jetsons when I was a kid? Or the little. Flintstones? Oh, I mean, I swear to God, if there's been some sort of animations. like... Yeah, if, if there's been some sort of like revival of the Flintstones that I don't know about, I'm gonna be really sad. No, I saw I saw like the original. Yeah, I'm sure, they, I'm sure there's this still around. Those are classics. Those will never go away. Listen, I think there's a whole network devoted to those now. At least I wasn't uh, born in the 2000s. Whatever. Yeah, boomerang. <laughs> He-Man only came out 40 years ago. It's not that bad. Wow, Cal. That's crazy. Feeling called out. Look, I remember when... Friggin' Star Trek, Star Trek The Next Generation was still being syndicated. Like... Mold. Still, those, uh, those little memes that are people like, you know, uh, the, the, the interaction farms on Twitter that are like, oh, react with the first controller you ever use. And I hate those so much because they usually only list controllers going back to like the Nintendo 64 <laughs> for like the oldest controllers. Oh, at, if you're lucky, half the time that would be like a marked improvement. Most of the time it's like, yeah, show them which one, first one you use. And like they started the PS3 and you're like, what are you talking about? This is like 10 years ago. Stop it. Still reminded of what was it? Uh, Hall uh, Hollows Bay and uh, Vesper uh, having conversation like a contest with each other, where they would they would list a concept or a thing and ask the other one what it was. So there oh, were things yeah. like uh, yep. Vesper shows Bay a uh, like an old pencil sharpener. Hey, aha! I got the cut. Nice. Uh, and it was like watching them try to figure stuff out like a dial up modem was another thing they showed them uh, I will never be as sad as when I was in college um, I, I I think it was when I went home for a summer uh, vacation I was helping my mom at her college, or at, or at her school, as a like a teaching aid for the summer, and um, I go in there and I'm talking to the students, and at one point I was like, I grabbed, uh, I had a floppy disk with me, I forget why, but I had a floppy disk with me, and I put it down and I was using it as a coaster because it's a floppy disk. We, you know, I haven't used one of those since I was a very little kid, um, but. The kids are like, oh my god, it's a 3D save symbol. <laughs> and I was like, it's a what? Yeah, yeah, that's the save symbol, but in 3D. And I was like, oh my god. I'm very old. What's a floppy disk? Oh, oh my god. My. Yeah, <laughs> you're being serious. You know, I am genuinely, I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> so you know what the save symbol looks like? Yeah. That that was a type of storage yes, medium. Yes, like a CD. Oh well. It was right. like a little plastic cartridge with a disc of like writable film inside of it. It was like a it was it was a non rigid like black film. It was, That's why yeah, it was a polyurethane floppy. or something like that. Is that the actual recording media was you know, floppy? Ah oh, well, see, I didn't know that. It kind of reminds me of I had I just, one. Of, hold on, wait. <laughs> tell me, worse. tell me if it's kind of like this thing. I had this thing when I was a kid, 
and you could like look inside of it and uh, click the button and you could like watch a movie, you know? No, I, that, I, that, that, that predates this. That's a, that's a kaleidoscope. <laughs> I can't that remember what, what called? those are called, but I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and it would like it would like take you on a journey through a place or something like that. Kinda, yeah. yeah. You'd, you'd pull the little lever and it would rotate it and show you a different picture. Yeah. I wonder what happened to mine. Um, you probably got tired of seeing the same image over and over and over again because you were a kid and it no was the kid Lion ever knew how to swap them out. The Lion King. Oh, okay. Just... So you had one of the, the you had one of the retro ones that parents would get their kids. I guess so. Oh, uh, there are so many things that have come back around because there's an industry for nostalgia. Um, uh, and it's it, it's one of those that's very weird uh, to live long enough to see that cycle happen. It's not very weird. And yeah, there was one. There was enough. something it's very weird to experience it. <laughs> there was something recently that was that was like, oh, uh, boom boxes, like physical stereos, are back in style again because they're like, oh man, these really? are so cool, and you can customize them too. And I'm like, what? And they're like, they put stickers on them. I'm like, oh my god, it's not customizing us. It's not customizing anything, but dazzling something. And then I'm sure somebody's was... like, what's the dazzling? <laughs> there, there are people talking about how it would be very convenient if there was like a system for phones where you could have like a cell phone for your house so that they could just call the house's phone. What do you mean a house phone? Exactly. Uh, yes. Uh, like a landline? Yeah, there are oh. people talking about that like it's a new thing. Oh my god. Now I feel a little old. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, and uh, yeah, gamer. Uh, the the Flintson the, the Flintson, uh, <laughs> Flintstones meet the Jetsons. The uh, the 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 shared world concept of that. Uh, it raises some disturbing implications, is what it does. Oh yes. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, people like vinyl records again. That too. Well, vinyl records have never really been a thing that have gone out of style because it has a particular sound that people really like. It's just, it's the popularity of that particular sound kind of wanes and waxes and wanes. It's that marker of, uh, are they... Is the person actually, like, really interested in the audio quality? Like, or are they pretentious? Correct. And I, I'm i willing to go out on a limb and say the latter is way more common. That I will get. It's also the case that vinyl records were when you could, were in the very first time that people could actually start making music collections and... That was a big deal, so a lot of people bought them. Yeah, I was gonna say music collection is the first thing that comes to mind when I think of like a vinyl record. I didn't realize the sound was different. I did not know that at all. Yep, it has a little scratchy tap sound to it when you put it on the needle. People really like that scratchy noise. Nice. so nimble. A little bit. I mean, the thing is, it's not actually nimble, it's just so big that yeah. any movement at all is colossal in size. I mean, it's a very interesting way to learn physics is what it is. Yep. <laughs> He is now big mad. Ow. Beam. Now an angry laser baby. I just want your Come tail. On. I know you want to fly. 
You can fly. Go ahead. Reminded, I need to make sure that I had actually gotten that carb, and I had already done that, so that's that's good. I'm trying to get my last one. Drop and roll. Except don't stop, just drop and roll. Big angry. Oh. oh, he punched me through the map for a moment there. <laughs> I I grappled his arm just as he did the slam through. He does need a Snickers bar. That is very true. I feel like we need an advertisement for that new Godzilla movie, but, you know, for the whole, you know, Snickers hangry thing. He is very hangry. Well, he's not actually hungry. He's just very angry. By the way, Impromptu movie review. That's the best Godzilla movie of all time. If you like Godzilla, you should go watch the new Godzilla movie. I've Thank never you. seen a Godzilla movie. I am sad about that. It's so good. This is a great time to go do it, too. This is easily one of the best examples of what makes a really good Godzilla movie. Hey, I'm not against it. I like trying new things. All I know is I played a Godzilla game once on my GameCube, and there was a big I'm dragon sorry. with three heads. Yeah, King Ghidorah. Yeah, I like him a lot. Yep, he is a he is a creation of the Showa era, which is not great, but he's cool. Actually, he might be he, may, he might be a Heisei. I don't remember if he's Heisei or Showa. Should be a fall into the floor, I think, because he did the kickback yep. when he did it. He falls into the floor when he's big mad. Oh, I killed him. Nope. Well, we or killed he just him dies. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, Godzilla's, Godzilla's my favorite thing of all time. It's great. Big monster. He's kind I, of the iconic big monster. Him and well, King Kong. King Kong doesn't count. King Kong is we have Godzilla at home. If I stand over you, I will give you my luck. I can't help but notice you didn't specify which luck you were going to give me. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, Apparently not the kind I needed, but well, thanks. No, 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 wait, we still have rewards. So what? Newt got two, I got two, now you get two. <laughs> no, really? Man, this game Whatever. is not happy I'll just, with you. I'll just deal with getting beat around, it's fine. <laughs> Fine, I'm just, I'm cursed to live inside the purgatory of Okami's swing. <laughs> I try to avoid you, I swear. Alright, I will be forever be swept. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, I'm going to step away for a moment, folks. Be right back. Yeah, the original... So, Godzilla's a bit weird because Godzilla had a, a time period where it was for kids. So, um, that's called the Showa era. And the Showa era is... Um, something. Uh, it has lots of dudes in rubber suits running around doing dudes in rubber suits things. And that's, what? to be fair, that's, that's what... Um, so... The original Godzilla was a guy in a rubber suit. I did not know that. Yeah, the original Godzilla was just a guy in a rubber suit. This is 1954 was when the first Godzilla movie was made. So it was just a guy in a rubber suit that they put inside of a little tiny model city and he walked around and punched and kicked the fancy model buildings they had made. Um, and But the original Godzilla movie was a very dark movie. I mean, it was about post-World War II Japan dealing with the fallout of nuclear war and like the sentiment of growing or like the growing sentiment of pacifism in Japan and all that kind of stuff. It was a very, very good movie. Uh, but the monster in it is goofy as hell. I mean, Godzilla in that original movie was just dude in a rubber suit with like a googly eyes. Painted on it. Not great. <laughs> um, and then he, then he did a couple more. He did Godzilla return or Godzilla raids again. And, um, a couple of others. And then people started making monster movies because Godzilla was really popular. And uh, one of the first movies that got made was Godzilla vs. Rodan. Because uh, Rodan would got his own movie first, and he was just a big giant pterodactyl that attacked a castle. Um, but people kind of liked Rodan, and so what they did is they took Rodan and took Godzilla, and they're like, make them fight each other. Uh, and that's like early Heisei hair era, I think. Um... And that became a thing for a while. It was always just Godzilla versus Godzilla versus Godzilla versus, and there's always him fighting some other semi-famous kaiju monster. Um, and they always had terrible plot lines. And then they had an era where they did like, uh, and it, that's also the era where King Ghidorah got made and okay. Mothra got made. Uh, Mothra was also made in that time period as well. Um, but. Uh, so they did that for a, a bit, and then they went to the Showa era, and the Showa era is just like little kids. It is, it is. They that's when they introduced. Um, God, I can't remember what his name is, but they they Godzuki. introduced that. Uh, yeah, Godzuki and uh, the whatever the baby version of King Kong was. I can't remember Manila or whatever. Like oh, Manila Weaver. Uh, yeah, uh, they're they're just terrible little like. Uh, baby versions of the kaijus and they are absolutely the worst abominations ever made um so there's like a 20 year period of godzilla that is just awful uh and then in the late 80s early 90s they came back with a, a new series of godzilla movies that were really good that were more action movie than anything else um and they didn't really focus on like anything other than you know big big flashy scene with Godzilla fighting a new monster. Like, Godzilla versus Biollante is one of the ones that's really good because it's just... Uh, it's got a sad story. There's a scientist that his wife dies of... of um, I think his wife dies of cancer? Or she dies in a... She either dies of cancer or she dies in an attack by Godzilla. I forget which one it is. Aww. Um, and he's so distraught about it that he... Um, Starts trying to figure out a way to. Oh, it was, it was cancer because he starts trying to figure a way. I figure out a way to cure cancer, and to do that, he's experimenting with uh, Godzilla's blood cells because Godzilla has regeneration capabilities. He can heal wounds very quickly. Uh, it's an excuse that's given for why he's always able to repair before he fights another monster. In the yeah. Anyways, uh, so they he he's uh, he's experimenting with Godzilla's DNA. And crossing them with roses because roses have, uh, you know, in the story they have curative properties. It's not really true, but you know, movie magic. <laughs> um, so he's he's been crossing them with roses for a long time, and uh, but they, they don't tell you that until like halfway through, and then you find out from his daughter that uh, uh, he put his his daughter died. That's right, his daughter is the one that dies in the Godzilla attack. Um, and that's what sets him over the edge. And he starts putting his daughter's DNA into the roses as well. And that makes Biollante, which is just a big, giant, horrible monster. Oh, interesting. Um, but it's 
it's representative of like the sorrow of war and like losing people to war and suffering and all that and how that grief can manifest as something monstrous in a person so it's it also was, the beginning of the essential oils movement apparently apparently um it's it's a lot of weird stuff like that where there's like you'll get some some movies that are clearly just cash grabs like oh we wanted to make a movie that was about godzilla fighting a giant insect because we felt like that was cool uh and then you like interspersed you get really good ones that are like Godzilla is representing like the spirit of Japan or Godzilla is representing a nuclear holocaust or stuff like that. And this is the new one is nothing is along those lines. Godzilla has a very specific thing it's trying to represent and it's doing a really good job of it. I didn't know all of that, so I mean the fact that there's more than just ooh big scary uh monster is nice. <laughs> yes. There were a is, couple and- of the recent ones that weren't interesting to me, but like Shin Godzilla was like, ooh, this is neat. Yeah, Shin Godzilla is another one that's really good, but it's it's not to the quality. So Shin Godzilla suffers from the same problem a lot of the Godzilla movies have as a criticism, and that's the, the human side of the story, because there's always humans involved. Um, it's usually terrible. Like, the Godzilla parts are fine. You know, Godzilla's fighting a giant monster. It's cool to watch. But most of the time, the human story that's going on in the background to explain why it matters that Godzilla even exists in the first place is awful it's like people giving exposition and being like oh you know godzilla is going back into the sea so that he can regenerate how do they know that nobody knows but you know that guy said it um godzilla if i recall was very um military fetishist it was some of that and then it was also like criticism of the japanese government but in a way that was very like tech bro it was not great Hmm. Uh, but this one's about a guy who uh most recent com I will spoil the very, very beginning scene. Uh, the main character is a kamikaze pilot during World War II that lands his plane on an island claiming that there is something wrong with it and there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and then the war ends the next day. So he skipped out on doing his job and then some horrible shit happens and he blames himself for it because he didn't have the bravery to get in the plane and go kill himself. That's kind of dark. It is. And that's what the rest of the movie is about, really, is about him dealing with the guilt of that. I learned something new today. A lot of new things, actually. It's one of the... A a good human plotline in the background is, I think, one of the critical elements to a lot of these monster movies is a lot of times you'll end up with things like Michael Bay movies where there is a human element, but oh, it's just awful. (laughs) Yep. Any Transformers movie is just not worth it. And setting aside all the other problems with Michael Bay Transformer movies, you know, like giant robot balls and whatnot. (laughs) True. Or the the very very strange strange racist caricature bots. Yeah, those characters did not have those voices the first time around. Michael Bay, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's that idea that with a lot of these big monster movies, that if there are going to be people involved, then Tell a their narrative needs to be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, mean, I don't care what your movie is. I don't care if there's monsters or not. Tell a good story, no matter what, and then build other things around it if you want to. Like the reason, the thing that makes Godzilla a good care, a good monster in the the very first movie that he was in, and in this one, is that he isn't just a big monster. He is meant to represent something very meaningful, and the story tells it in a way that is like the human characters respond. Uh, in ways that make sense for what he represents in addition to what he is. So, like, in the very first movie, uh, Serizawa is the scientist that eventually figures out how to stop Godzilla. Um, and Serizawa was a nuclear scientist or, a, or a, a, a weapons scientist. I don't know if it was nuke specifically, but a weapons scientist during World War II. And he has a lot of guilt over all the weapons he made that the Japanese used to kill each other and or kill themselves and other people and at the end of the movie he's torn apart by the the idea that he's being asked to make another weapon to kill godzilla because 
he doesn't want to make weapons anymore. He kind of feels like it's an endless cycle where he's going to do it and it's going to it's going to kill Godzilla, but it's not going to um, um, oxygen destroyer because they talk about how like a it reference for, for uh, that EDF makes the 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 anti giant monster super weapon. Yep. Uh, uh, Dylan was saying in chat, uh, Dagon, the great grandpa of Godzilla, and actually, I think very much no, uh, in that Godzilla is, uh, like Tess was just saying, it's some of the best Godzillas are very representative of a tangible thing. And uh, Dagon is one of the, is amongst all of the mythos creatures that are meant to be intangible. Yeah, yes. Like, um, Dagon, like the the imp the impressions you get out of the Godzillas in in the Godzilla verse. So, if you want to talk about like the new universe, he has like a lineage. He has a long running history of a species that he belongs to. Um, but if you want to talk about Dagon in terms of the comics, which is more closely related to the Heisei or the the um, dang it, the I can't remember. I can't remember what the name of the studio is that makes it. Toho. Uh, the Toho Godzilla, Dagon is more like a god than he is a creature. He's like a thing that is the essence of what makes a Godzilla. I think, let's see, Dagon, I think Dagon's story, uh, the, I don't know if it's actually a Lovecraft story. There's a lot of stories that are attributed to Lovecraft that were actually kind of Lovecraft's mailing group, uh, you know, pen pals. Uh, the author behind Conan and a couple of other of the like big classic pulp uh, sci-fi fantasy stuff of the era were sort of pen pals and they they shared a lot of stuff with each other. I think Sugatha is a creature that shows up in some of Lovecraft stories that were actually from the Conan guy. Um, but anyway, uh, I don't... Uh, the Dagon story, I think it's one of those that ends with a moment of there was something big and scary that appeared. Uh, but it was another one of those that was just a. Um, an indication that there was something more. It's some yeah. sort of like monolith or something like that in this big arm kind of reaches out and almost like hugs it or cradles it. I remember correctly, Dagon is also like a, a creature from African lore. No. Distinctly possible. But, uh, because, you know, Lovecraft stole a lot of those gods for his things. And, like, oh, yes. And there's some them. really, there's some really protracted periods where it it's instead of going into the, you know, Squamous and Rugos style language that uh, Lovecraft also liked to use, um, there's also the. Let me just rattle off a bunch of religious uh, figures and myths from other cultures as if it's dark and sinister. Yeah. There's a there's a bunch of like there's a bunch of weird mythos you can get in the Toho uh, Godzilla's because he's been around for so long. He's got like nine different origin stories and all of them are correct because not no two Godzillas are the same Godzilla in that series except for when they specifically state that it's a sequel to one of the other ones. Are we doing the Legiana or are we doing something else? Let's do Legiana. I was waiting for somebody to post it, but I'll post it. Oh, well, it I is have posted. a you silly. Oh, you do have one? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, I didn't notice. This has been your uh, Godzilla educational se sequence. I <laughs> did not want to interrupt too much because I always find these interesting. I uh, literally know nothing about them, so I learned a lot. Uh, we should do a watch along of Shin Godzilla at some point. Good. That would actually Good. be pretty fun. I would like that. Uh, it 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 reminds me of the spirit of the uh, of some of the older Godzilla stuff because they do go for like. The appearance is very modern. The effects are very modern, but it has that sort of guy in a suit vibe. It does. And it also captures what I think was really uh, important about the original movie, too, is that Godzilla was meant to be scary. And if you were to try and make a giant lizard scary in like modern times, he wouldn't be. 
people have had that kind of stuff in their media forever. Um, but the Shin Godzilla version of him is super terrifying. Oh, by the way, Newt, remember the uh, the, the Godzilla breath he has in Shin Godzilla? Uh, I can't recall. Uh, laser beam that he splits into multi-laser beams. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's super terrifying. Uh, they they outdid that in this one somehow. Oh, dang. Do you guys want? I have yeah. another camp available. I think it might be closer. Ah, uh, we'll try Okay. You'll walk around here and grab some hot peppers while I'm in town, you know what I mean? Hot Never peppers. have enough hot peppers. Getting the, uh, gloom grass is also a good thing since they're right out of the start. And some herb. Da 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 da. <laughs> Don't give me the you found a rare item sound the first time I pick up something that could have a rare item after what you just put me through, game. <laughs> you got a fancy carrot. Do, do, do. Uh, <laughs> uh, Very hardy blue beetle there, given the depth of snow that we're dealing with. Oh, it's an old, an old footprint of a Marioth. Tell you what, I'm not gonna hunt today. Bought a Tigrex today to get my, my three pieces of Tigrex armor, and uh, oh boy, I found what it. Does, what does Tigrex give you? I forget what his special thing is. He, the the three pieces gives you um. Uh, an upgrade to free meal. You can have three levels of it instead of one. Oh, I forgot he gives you. I forgot he gives you free meal stuff. Yeah. It's funny to me that he's the one that's hungry all the time. But that does kind of explain it. You know, you got to be eating a whole lot of protein in order to gain that kind of muscle mass. Yeah. Hi, Barry. Off. Low regular Legiana. I'm nope. glad you like this Legiana, Cal, but it sucks. Um, you know what? I'm gonna say this one's gonna be amazing for me. You know why? Because I have fucking three points of ear plug. <laughs> you can get as preachy as you want. I just remember him being in the air almost all the time. And hit him into the wall, at least. Oh, turf war. Oh, hello. Very off and screeching Legiana. He picked him up. Yeah, it doesn't last long, though. Very off is a little bit more mean. Just a bit. That's right, shrieking Legiana. We are entering the let's have a bunch of alternate creatures segment of the uh, of ice iceborne here. Wait, where did it go? Pass Barry off. Oh no! No, they're having a turf war! Oh, that's convenient. Ah! Use, uh... you, guys, you guys have fun with that. We'll see you later. Let's get the dart through here real quick. I had to tag this alcove for the uh, camp option. Also, hi, Baria. Hi, Baria. I broke the tree. Oh no! Oh, ow! Hi, Baria. Drinky drink, drinky drink. Oh wait, all of them are here. Oh god, I attacked oh, yeah. the wrong Legiana. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Ow. 
There's so much going on. Oh my god, I didn't realize three of them could be in one area. Well, I'm just gonna chill out over here in a green mist. Ice Blight. Ow! I recall a Shrieking Legion is a male one, right? Is it? I don't know. Because they always pair up like this. All I know is they, 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 yeah, they just keep doing nonsense like this, and it's extra pain. Extra pain. Oh my goodness. I keep attacking the wrong one! Alright, the important one is bailing on us. You say the important one, but it might be worth it to just kill the regular Legiana first. That is true. Oh, he's leaving too. Oh, he's, yep, okay. I mean, at least we have the uh, pools of hot water now. So much happened. Mounted him. spiral just fanned out around me. Yikes. Oh my goodness, so there's so happening. much! <laughs> You had to bake cookies? What did you bake? What kind of cookies? That is the important question. I kind of want oatmeal cookies. But do you want oatmeal cookies or oatmeal raisin cookies? I like raisin, but sometimes like oatmeal with like a little bit of cinnamon in them. Mm. Yeah, I I would lean that way. I I prefer the oatmeal 
to the razor, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's okay sometimes, but I find myself usually not in the mood for raisins. I'm a peanut butter cookie kind of guy. Ooh, peanut butter's good. Peanut butter cookies are good. your friend now. Nice. Ooh, nice paralysis. Good amount of damage there. I need to get Huh. Dung bombs. <laughs> Freebie potions. Got him. I hate this fight. This fight sucks. So much happening. There'll be a little less chat going on, most likely, folks. Um, we must dodge the things. <laughs> Gotcha. Good hit. Ow. Gonna let us capitalize on it, though. You drink? Good night, Steve. It was nice to see you. It's so hard to focus on chat while this is all of this going uh. on. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness. He's enraged. Dear.
took Ow. me off the map. Yikes. He hurts. Ugh. Kill it! <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Really need you to die, sir. Uh, Cal is asking if either of you guys have played or know about Destroy All Humans. Um, uh, yeah, I've, I think so. I have played it. Okay. Yeah. I think Cal's playing it again. The remake or something. Uh, there's a sequel that came out recently. Oh, there's a sequel? Yeah. There was a remake of it, but there's also a sequel that came out recently as well. Oh, it's the remake of Destroy All Humans 2. Oh. Yes! Don't let him run! Oh! No, he's mad! Oh, no, he went rage. Ah. Oh, his friend's here. Oh, his eyes are yellow? Wait, I never noticed that. Oh, now they're not. Oh, what? They are. They're yellow. When he's in the darkness, yes. they glow. Yep. Oh. Oof. So we're capping, Rude. right? <laughs> Just rude. Is he capable? He should be, right? He's not an elder. No, I mean, right now, is he capable? Oh, no, not yet. Sadly. <laughs> so that'd be great. Oh, he's leaving.
Out. Die already. Oh my goodness. No, don't leave. wounded ah! and he's up and away do you guys know what rank Yikes. we're in i forget master rank? Uh, oh right? yeah we're in master rank but i don't know which master rank. i think we're like 12 no wait i don't know i have no idea <laughs> it's like five or six i think oh no he avoided it. Over here, over here. Ah! Come here, kitty cat. Oh no, what if the other one gets in it? Oh! Hey, you. Can we, can we land on the ground? Yes? Okay. Okay, we got him. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. I mean, I would have been fine if I hadn't constantly kept getting beamed by the other one and then put into stasis <laughs> for a while. That was tough. I probably would have died more often if he'd turned his attention towards me at all. I kept getting beamed by the regular one and then, like, knocked into a corner, stunned for a sec couple of seconds. Oh, no, I'm okay, Cal. Thank you. Oof! Madness! Hold on, we're coming! Hold on, we're coming! And by we, I mean that guy who's competent. <laughs> you kids say Every scene made better. Palico jammies, and my Palico now has a wiggler hat. You're safe. Nice. Though, if I could get a Wiggler hat for the Handler, too. There are parts of the scene where you normally can't see the Palico, but you can now. Always finding a way to the truth. Not a Wiggler hat, it's a Palico locator. <laughs> Is looking to guide the way. Take a look. More writings from my master's studies. The song, the monster's behavior, they're affecting the ecosystem. Seismic action, the old everworm. I'm out of time. My story ends here. Songs, the ecosystem, old everworm. Nouns in sequence. The shard originated from here, meaning Velcana's nest must be nearby. You're right. Its home must be here somewhere. We just gotta find it. So, who's in? I'm in. I want to learn more about Velcana. Together we can solve this mystery and make history. That's the spirit. That monster is growing in power. We can't chase after it now. Let's head back and regroup first. Okay. <laughs> I recall it's... I don't know if we get the pair of them, uh, but we've got Acidic Glavinus and uh, I think Ebony Odogaron next. I am not excited about Glavinus.
Man, a Dragon Jewel Plus. To be fair, of all the elements that you'd want to get actual pluses on, that's probably the one. True enough. Sadly, it's also one of the ones that caps out very fast as far as its utility during uh, the relevant fights. True. Once they've been dragoned a couple of times, it doesn't work anymore. Of course. About that. Oh, I did forget that there's the Dialga and Palkia raids in Pokemon. I have to do them at some point. I haven't really touched Scarlet and Violet. And I probably didn't really plan to until next week. <laughs> oh, I hate Glavinus. Glavinus is one of my mortal enemies, actually. <laughs> Chat, you underestimate how much I hate him. My steam's full. I'm gonna do my. Oh, Foger. Oh, ooh, that's exciting. Lightning snot. Well, hey. Oh, so that's where those bones come from. There you are, Fiber. At least some of the parts I need for my new harvesting suit. Is my hat very green suddenly? We'll have to see if we have a cutscene for him. I would think that we do, but we might not. Hey. Uh, if one of, uh, here, I'll post it. We can tell. Okay. Uh, we're at Master Rank 4 missions. Getting up there. Okay, uh, if I can you take join. a look at... Okay, then it's no cutscene. Why is my helmet green? Like, I get that you could dye it green, I just... It usually doesn't do it by itself. It's hard to tell. Yeah, my hat turned green. <laughs> Did What's you upgrade it? What's going on? No. That's like odd. after the last cutscene, green. You have a green hat now. There, I toggled the layered layered on and off, and it's not green anymore. That's a weird little. It wasn't bug. even the part. It wasn't even the part of the hat that dies. <laughs> like. We don't have access to dual channel recolor yet, so it's normally only the fur changes color on the direwolf stuff. The whole hat was tinted green. <laughs> you left the festive filter on in your TikTok. Apparently. I mean, it's cool looking armor. It's just, you know, it's got things like bow charge and hunger resistance and whatnot. It is very bow armor. Hey, don't call me out on my gambling. <laughs> I too like the Gamba. Oh, the gambling. It's a highly explosive slot machine, that's all. Good opportunity to, uh, you know, work the steam engine. 
Though saying it that way makes it sound like a euphemism for something. It kind of does, <laughs> yeah. All right, I am all set. Let this uh, full steam sequence end, and then I'll be all set. Need to use up some of the natural fuel. Join when you're ready, Tess. I'm, I'm repairing my stuff. <laughs> Handler, I like you better when you're in your demon costume. <laughs> if you go to the house, you can put her back in it. I think, actually... Might have to DLC unlock them. All right, Fulger, Fulger Anginath time. All the fun of Anginath, but now with Shock Blight. Oh, I forgot he's here. Number one being all obstinate again. Antinath is another one of the ones that in Rise was much less intimidating than the world version. Yeah. A lot of them were that way. The biggest uh, culprit of that is Rajang. Oh, yeah. Rajang for Rise was just a tiny little baby compared to the one in yeah. the world. Oh, the one in the world has... Oh. Still with us, Okami? Yes. Sorry. Okay. Was I being too quiet? You got punted from the mission. Oh, I did? Yep. Really? You guys are still with me. You probably got disconnected. It's just taking time to tell you. What? That's so weird. Okay, let me go back. Look at Satan in his little duck costume. That's so <laughs> weird. At least I can uh, the wiggler, my... The Wiggler hat for cats is ridiculous. They already have, like, really expressive movements, and it and exaggerates the Wiggler hat a great deal. <laughs> Our target's a Fulger Anginath, a new type of troublemaker. Sure that this works. On my way back. He returns. We 
mean, that used to happen all the time way back earlier in uh, the release of World. I remember that. It was infuriating. Still the same mechanic, too. It's there is still technically a you taking up him. a slot in the quest. There's Tigrex. Just I go over here. I'm going to hit him. OK, it's going to. Oh, I missed. Before that notices me. <laughs> oh, is he not that mad at me for some reason? Please heals while we go. Well, not a good trade, not a good trade. Nice. There we go. Time for stabbing. In the back swing. He hits hard. Yeah, he do. Excitement. He's just I mean, looking I know outside. his shock blight, uh, his shock blight is gonna make this very dangerous, but the bar for obnoxiousness has been set very low by uh, shrieking. have to love that lightning glow he gets. Ow. I don't really know how lightning plate works, I'll be honest. You take Just extra makes you damage. Take extra damage yeah. Oh, well. And he already hits hard. Oh, oh yes. Ah! Oh I, my did, God. I don't remember that one. The reason why uh, Lightning Puppy is so terrifying is already has extremely high damage and and do ice or a lightning blight. And if I remember, Dragon uh, Blight Toby correctly. Is such a su oh, I'm sorry. It's why Toby is one of the first sudden death monsters you encounter. That makes sense. Where he just kills you out of nowhere. I went almost. I don't know, I've been a fan of Monster Hunter for almost 10 years, I think, and I, st I never knew that. <laughs> to be fair, the Blights weren't always a thing. Yeah. 
I know Dragon Blight just gets rid of uh, your element, I believe. If you have an elemental weapon. Yep. Which is kind of dangerous, because most uh, monsters that have uh, Dragon Blight need some sort of elemental to really wear them down. I think it also removes your resistances to other elements as well, but that's not usually relevant. Unless you're like Alatrion or something. Yeah. Oops, I did not mean to go that way. That's okay. Yeah. Bonk. Very nice. I'm probably gonna be angry after that. A lot of environmental effects in uh, in world. Yep. Uh, like the hot springs will clear frost blight. Uh, cold water, if you get thrown through it, will give you ice blight. It makes sense. I like the way it works. I the only thing that I'm glad that doesn't happen is that going through water doesn't give you water blight. That would be obnoxious. Oh, Did you well. fall? Catch you later. I have been yeeted down into uh, Toby's lair. Well, bite could dodge, but you know. Oh, there's a turf war. Oh. with you in a moment. <laughs> That's okay, we're running from Tigrex. Oof. Tigrex showed up and decided he wanted to claim his territory, and I'm going to let him have it because I don't need it. Into the wall. Big mad. Oh, 
Oh, that hurt a lot. Disapproved. So much. Wow, how'd that Ow. miss me? <laughs> you were right in the middle of it, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have slinger ammo. <laughs> Thank you. Hopefully he'll go down. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, wow. Grimal Grimalkin helpers. Oh, we got a tail cut. He's having a bad day now. It's very hard. A little bit. The deaths in this area happen in air in this zone happen in area seven. a good trade.
Good hit. Oof. Get him. I don't know how I hit that, but I did it. No deaths. That no time. deaths. Couple of close calls, but no deaths. He a sleepy boy. Oh, so eepy. I get sleepy too when somebody applies like a live car battery directly to my nose. Does that help your insomnia? I expect it clear your sinuses, if nothing else. See you back in one piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's head to Astera. There may be something we can help with. I just noticed the poogie in the full winter outfit walking around. Yes, very cute. It's like, what is that? Mm hmm. Yeah. head back to Astera, but I don't want to. The map design is worse. <laughs> you two. Oh, thank this. Yes, sir. I'm thankful. It wasn't long soon after that. Commander, I have... And if monster... I think this is... Oh, uh, yeah. It seems very... At any rate. Right. Remember, I'm counting on you to help prepare Celiana's defense. More subspecies. Hmm. Are they picking up on some kind of change in the environment? Okay, That's so... I'll let you guys decide which one we're doing next. Oh, given that they have sent us back here, I anticipate that our choices are uh, bad and worse. <laughs> I like one of them. I mean, one of them is cool looking. But I can't say I like to fight them. <laughs> <laughs> what if meat puppy, but fireballs? I think I like his armor too. I don't entirely remember. I think this one's like the demonic ninja outfit, whereas the normal Odogron's just like the regular Shinobi outfit. Yeah, that sounds right. Where 
got more spikes. It's it's like if a shinobi uh, shopped at Hot Topic. <laughs> This is a cool, cool ninja outfit, but do you have one with more belts? How about some chains? Can we get some chains? Uh, aren't you trying to be stealthy? Just give me more chains, sir. All right. Question is, do we have cutscene or not? Oh, that's right. Slay Kushala in the ancient forest. I remember how much fun that was. Okay, I'm 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 going to I'm going to post one of them and we're going to see if it's multiplayer or not. Okay. Uh it's there's a cutscene. So let's let's all jump into eat both of them and uh get the cutscenes out of the way. Sounds good to me. On some kind of change in the environment? Nothing can stop us. Alright, we're good. We're good. Those cool monster introduction animations yeah, followed by and now run. <gasps> I just realized something. Was that? This is kind of like an internal dilemma now. Uh, okay. So they announced the new Monster Hunter game coming out. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I was literally in the middle of working on a video about me theorizing about the next Monster Hunter game and when it would be announced. <laughs> Holy shit! I can't make that now. <laughs> oh well, no! You can. you can, but you have to heavily edit it. Yeah, yeah, it completely changes the whole context of what I was doing. <laughs> That's funny. We'll see. See, now it's you get to speculate about what's in it. Okay, yeah, you know what? Thank you. That makes me feel better. I could totally rework that. <laughs> it just kind of, like, snapped in my brain that wigglers. it More happened. wigglers. It's gonna be a zone full of wigglers. Oh, wait, that's a track. Let me grab that. Oh, wait, Ebony is in Coral Highland. Yep. Got it. Found him. He's up on the ledge where you. Uh, I don't know where. What? How I would describe this? Uh, up near where you first fight Pink Graphian, but down that down one level. movie serial killer approaching music when they introduce gla acid glavinus here. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Belkan 
his breath reaches Eliana. Such violence. It looks like he cuts one in half. It almost has that look when he uh, smacks uh, the greater the the greater as it's passing. Mm-hmm. More subspecies. Hmm. Are they picking up on some kind of change in the environment? Nothing can stop us. All right, Odogar on time. Make use of the roar to book it. I'm keeping a record of the monsters being affected by that song. Oof. Wait, what? You can find a blue wiggler? Like a different kind of blue wiggler? Uh, there's the blue wigglers and then there's the queen wigglers. This one looks different. Maybe it's just my view. Oh. Oh, it's just a really large one. Woggler being uh. a woggler. Living his best life. You're over here judging him. <laughs> He's mine now. It's just especially big and wiggly. Tommy over here still embracing the uh, Pokemon lifestyle 100%. Sometimes Look, the bro, get surface. in my ball! <laughs> I'm not super violent. I don't try to kill everything. Only some things. You're not oh, no. cute enough. You must die. <laughs> I don't remember I where we find Pink Rothian. That's definitely what I want to fight at the same time as an ebony, a Nargacuga. That happens. That's just a nope right on out of there encounter. The Shamos battle theme has that very kind of playful tinge to it that you get from some of the, uh, you know, critters chasing people in like a fantasy movie kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Nothing like super threatening, just kind of comical as much. Story for Ebony, why he's like a different color and has dragon blight. Uh, all of these variants are being caused by um, Gar, whatever. Uh, the final one of Iceborne. Oh, Ishvalda, yeah, yeah. Gar Ishvalda, yeah. He's the one that's that's changing the ecology so that they're getting variants. All right, let me back out now. More 
subspecies. Trying to find him now. Are they picking up on some kind of change in the environment? Nothing can stop us. Without getting wrecked by Narcacuga, you know. Uh, you he's up Pickle. by where the uh, just above the Shamos's area where um. The bottom of the waterfall, the, the really big, uh, not the not the very top one, but the lower big waterfall thing. It's like the big coral area. Yeah. Which isn't exactly helpful because the whole area is a lot of coral, but. Well, I'm at the coral tree. Uh, okay, so head east from there. You want to be where. Uh. Where if you climb up, you get to the Legiana area, but you don't want to go. You don't want to climb up. You want to follow along the walls there. Okay, so go down from there. Yes. Okay, with like the bouncy house mushrooms with uh, the like. No, no up from the bouncy. Legs. Up from the bouncy house red, uh, mushrooms. Okay, that's back towards the coral tree. Okay, then I guess you want to be in the coral tree. I think of the coral tree as that area that is uh, leading from the... I mean, I don't the coral know. tree is the thing that Palumu eats from. Oh, uh, you want to go up from the, from the coral tree. So the big flat area that is yes. a yes. everything fights here. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you kind of like scoot along the walls, the sides of the that area, you'll eventually find him. Yep. I had a I had a I was having pains because I couldn't find any tracks of him in there, but he was in there. What is going on? Found lots of tracks, but it didn't. Like, give me a target to move towards. Yep. More subspecies. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to fight those two on my own, guys. I have somewhere else I need to be. Okie doke. Bye. Have See fun. you later. Oh boy. Now I gotta make sure the kitty's got good stuff. I don't even know what I have on it. Let's get this done. Love when you do a return from quest when there's something aggroed on you. I can just see him flipping out in the background. <laughs> Characters just grinning like, oh, that went well. Give her. Yeah, my Palico stole a shard, so I can see. Should be able to see armor types from it. Been leveling the plunder blade on him. New Palico armor is achieved. That should help. There we go. Do the things, get the stuff. So which one do you want to go for first? Let's get Ebony out of the way. <gasps> yes, I'm so excited. 
like I don't mind regular Glavinus as much, but Acid Glavinus is all kinds of a pain, at least in his initial incarnation. Yeah. Because you got to deal with the fluvium, the defense down, the more confined battleground. Like That's just everything bad. And a lot of damage, of course. Nope, got to kill a uh, Odogram before its uh, armor shows up. I'm surprised I don't have a Fulger set available. I don't actually think I had one either. Let's get this done. I mean, for the Palico. Oh. Dressing up your Palico is terribly important. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Gave him the shrieking leggy on our armor. I gave my palico that weapon. Mine is using a Brachydios weapon. That's the one I just switched out. I like that one. The blast damage is good. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. We got this. First try, no cards. <laughs> That's what we can hope for. We just gotta find him. Any Nargakuga tracks, but. Oh, right here. There we go. Nargakuga gashes alone because they're, uh... Oh, no, those are scratch marks. That's what I want. Kuga. I found him. He's got meat in his mouth. Taking a shorter way up there, but... Oh, I forgot he could do that. Demonic fireballs. Yeah, he has a lot of the like 
somersaulty moves that regular one does, but uh, with the added fun of lobbing fireballs during it. Yeah. Does he have bleed as well? I forget. I don't remember. I guess we'll find out. He's got all kinds of dragon blight. I love the cats. Healing me, keeping me alive. My one complaint with this area of this map is that it's really big. It's really hard to knock monsters into a wall. Yup. did a lot. No! Ah! Damn. Well, about that no carding. You're gone. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that hurt. Those moments where Master Rank reminds you that uh, you're not at the top of the food chain anymore as far as your equipment. <laughs> It humbles you very fast. Oh, that was cool. I used my free meal on my ancient potion. Hello, Legiana. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. I hate how fast it is. Oof. He, he, he's hitting hard. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of damage. My health went very, very low and then I was dead. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, I want oh, none of that. I want to see this. Kuka grabbed him and just kind of whip cracked him into the <laughs> wall. You know that hurt. Oh no! Oh, okay. Change your mind? He, he crawled up like halfway. Nice kitty cat. Very 
drink. Nope, Nargaku gets back. Stabbing. Coming down. Nice. Nice. Oh my god, no, I thought he was going <laughs> thought he was coming back for me. <laughs> he hit so hard. It's very unpredictable. Yeah. Puppy. Hard to hit him sometimes, too. He's flying all over the place. I'm so afraid of him touching me. Busy, busy, busy. Oh, stressful. That's right, Dylan. We're at Ebony Odogaron. Oh, hey, Cultured. It's Flesh Puppy, but, you know, worse. I'm going to knock him into the wall.
Frog. Oh no. Can you wake me up? Thank you. <laughs> I'll let you do the big hit. Get some damage off on him. Wake up, puppy dog. Big oof. Big oof. How you doing tonight, Gulchard? Looking a bit roughed up now. Now oh, you're getting into Baldur's Gate 3 then, Cultured? Baldur's Gate is fantastic. Very nice. love it when they walk into it. <laughs> he's one that when he starts to get weakened, he's uh, not nearly as much as a threat. Well, it, it's generally when he's tired that he's most vulnerable, just because he's so high energy otherwise. Mm -hmm. Though damaging him doesn't matter as much. I mean, the, the reduced tail is, is helpful. Of that nonsense. Nice. are behaving strangely. I'm concerned Sky has found something to spill based on some evidence. Oh no. What do you think it is? I have no idea. <laughs> that is very concerning. <laughs> oh! Oh, Ow. did he knock you down? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he went down that way. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness.
can't make up his mind. Oh, okay. Okay, we we didn't even go up there, sir. Okay, now he's leaving. Remember uh, some of the Rage Gaming folks, one of them, uh, did a Palico fight build where only the Palico did damage? Yeah. And it was effectively that, like, I have all of the buff generation and wide range stuff with full Palico rally and maxed out Palico armor. Does it actually work? Are they able to oh, kill yes. stuff? He could take on like endgame elders. Oh my god! I did not know that. <laughs> that sounds interesting. I would want to try that sometime. Ow! That really hurt. Let me out! Up and down, and up and down. Constantly. Height of a Palico culture, there was one of, at least one of the monster hunters had Prowler mode, where you played as Palicos. I think that was Generations? Could be. It is a mode that needs to return. It was good. It was fun. Good to collect materials. Oh, I upset him. Ah! Oh, don't spoil this, Legiana. Nice. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, she said that differently. Odogoron. Never heard it said that way. I've heard uh, Dogoron and Odogaron. You know, Odogoron and Odogaron, but not Odogaron. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh, I want that to leave my mind. <laughs> you gotta say it in that really thick, really offensive, you know, Super Mario. <laughs> oh no, I just imagine the like the hand signal, you know? Yes, yes, the little <laughs> the, the... <laughs> Oh god. Oh. <laughs> the kind of gesture associated with people saying spicy meatball. Yes. Oh, terrible. All right, I guess we'll do Glavinus. Okay, real quick, stepping away, trying to fig gotta figure out what <laughs> may have gone down. One second. Okay. <laughs> the pickle. Oh, 
Oi, chat! Remember to hit the like button. Or else... You know, the basic process. Hello. Hmm. What do I need? Uh... I need to hit that button. Angry mode. <laughs> I don't use that eye mode often. So what did the kitty casket into? I don't know. That's the problem. There's no signs. Oh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> exactly. Do they do anything specific that makes you think that they did something? I think Sky may have, like, walked through the fountain is the thing. Oh, OK. He's very fluffy and some of his fur was wet. And it's like, what happened? <laughs> I'm trying to find a certain skill and I can't find it. What oh. skill are you looking for? Never mind. Nope, I lied. It's uh it's the one that unlocks an element on a weapon that has it like free element. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what set has it though. Uh, I know the ancient fragment set does. Next up is Acid Glavinous. We're going to look at our kit first. Ugh. Death Garon. Yeah, it's got a real demon ninja vibe to it. I mean, nothing about the set has good stuff for my loadout, but you know, it does look cool. Oh, wait, this is the set I used to run, I think. Hmm. Pretty Maybe sure there's nothing in Great Sword for this. 
the Fulgar Anjanath weapon didn't have only, like didn't cap out at blue sharpness without handicraft, it'd be decent. But only decent. That is not the territory I need my weapons to be in. Adequate. <laughs> I think Ebony Odogar on set is coming up and a Devil Joe weapon. Hmm. Yeah, what do you think? You want to round out the night with the Glavinus? Sounds good to me. Assuming we can beat him. Oh, totally. Hmm. Did I cart twice last time or once? I thought it was just the once for the Ebony. Well, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't happen much more. All right, let's do this. Sherbet has come out to uh, lay on a heating pad. I have optimized the handler, handler cultured. Every cutscene in the game is better because of that. All right. You put her in that uh, that palico costume. All the cutscenes are better. It's like putting your character in a wiggler hat for them. <laughs> I normally go for the palico armors that have uh, the, the face exposed if I can because they're cuter but at least for now wiggler hat I found him oh yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. Hello, friend. Oh, he's a big one. Yeah. I want to do that. Corrosive patches. He leaves corrosive patches? Yeah, when he sweeps his uh, tail along the ground, he'll leave damaging patches for a moment. Oh. this again. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. That's the one thing the temporal mantle is good for. You can throw that on and stick to their face no matter what. That's fine, though, Dylan. I mean, 
gotta you gotta account for your for your actual life more than streams. Bale's armor plated until he sheds it. Yeah. So not ideal. Oof. He's very bulky. He's a biggin. He is a biggin. I don't do any damage when he's like that. Nice. good.
Nope. He's mad. Stop that anytime you want. <laughs> uh oh, ah! been... Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Oh goodness. He is scary when he combos. <laughs> Please don't be stunned. Okay. Again. Acid mode again. No, not quite. And he ain't. Oh. oh, oh, but in more of a I'm going to take my ball and go home sort of angry. <laughs> uh, I think he was less angry and more, you know, perturbed or maybe peeved a little, you know? Be nice now. That, was, that, hurt, oh. that hurt a bit. Drinky drink, drinky drink. Oh, I forgot he lowers defenses. I just noticed that now. Yep. 
when he's in acid mode, he uh, cuts your defense for hitting you. I mean, Acid Glavinus is an impressive beastie, uh, Dylan. Ah, oh, gotcha. Said, I'm just gonna I'm gonna walk back over here out of the tunnel. Watched out of the air. All right, cultured. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Spin. Oh, big spin. spin. Hygrex is here too. Oh no. no. You can. Uh, you guys can have a turf war now. This is going to turn out. All right, hip check. Tigrex mauling. Yep, yep, yep. Relatively tame. Not too bad. I didn't see him Good limping. Deal. Yeah, no skull either. They are both not happy. Quite a bit. Just a little. Uh oh. 
Ah. Looking at the timing of my charge, and it's like, oh, well, that's not going to go well. Okay. Well, he got me with that one. He is stabbing. Meal. <laughs> oh, dear. Limping. Now he's injured. Excellent. You're not going anywhere, buddy. Nice. Where are my, oh. my knockout pods? <laughs> Scrolling through my list. <laughs> Oof. Amazing work. Man, just sudden death. <laughs> oh, goodness. That was intense. Lavinus already has high damage moves paired with the defense down. Mm hmm. One of the things that makes Pickle so dangerous. Not too bad, though. Yep, yep. Okay. Listen to me. Oh, we have to do the Celiana defense Pickle. quest or whatever. Oh. <laughs> Preparations are complete and the burner in my heart's cooking at full blast. Let's keep Celiana safe, Pard. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, listen to me. Okay, get going. <laughs> Just noticed how when Poogie's wearing the cold weather gear, the only thing you can see is his nose, and there's like a little snot drip hanging from his nose. Ew. All right, though. I think reaching that point is going to be a good stopping point for the night. I agree. Plenty of intense ones tonight. Sorry if there were some times we were very focused, folks. <laughs> ah, good times, though. Good times. We, we get into a Monster Hunter session right ha after getting some really good Monster Hunter news. Yes, it's the perfect time to be playing Monster Hunter right now. Now we get to... Uh, speculate and uh, fret over the fact that we won't be getting that game for a couple years, you know? Uh, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. If you haven't already and you liked what you saw, remember to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, let, let the algorithm know that you want to see more of these. Uh, with that said, hope you had a good time tonight, everybody, and I will see you again next time. I think we'll be doing this again the same time next week. Should be, yes. We'll see, but we'll post it in advance, so.
Good night, everyone. Have a good night.